All right, now it's time to actually plot our graph. So what I want to do now is highlight all of my data. Some of the data might not be good. Lots of you had data that continued being collected after the motion sensor lost the cart. That's fine. Some of you had data at the beginning that you want to delete because maybe you started the sensor before you actually started the motion of the car. Again, that's fine. We'll deal with that. Right now, I want you to highlight all of the data. Highlight all the data that you have. Okay? Don't highlight the headings. Just highlight the data. And then click Insert Chart. Now, the default chart is going to be some kind of bar graph. That's not what you want. So don't click on that bar graph. Click on Chart Types. Scroll down to where you see Scatter Plot. And then click Insert. Your graph should appear momentarily. It takes a second. There it is. I'm going to move it where I can see it a little bit more. You can see that I have a lot of data here that's irrelevant. It looks like from about two seconds on, maybe, from about two seconds on, I want to delete that data. So what I'm going to do is scroll over here to my data, go down to two seconds, and delete everything after two seconds. Highlight it, click delete. And then lo and behold, my graph updates automatically, and you can see that that data happens to be good. If I misjudged where I needed to delete, and maybe I should have deleted at 1.8 seconds, well, then just go back and delete a little bit more. Okay, you'll be able to tell by your graph what you should delete. There's your graph. Now what I want to do is format this graph nicely. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the top right-hand corner, click Advanced Edit, click Title. It should be titled Position versus Time. Scroll down a little bit further to where it says Axis Horizontal. My horizontal axis should be Time, and it should be in Seconds. And then change it to Axis Vertical, and that should be Position. And that should be in meters. OK, now it looks a lot better. But now I have to add a trend line, a line of best fit. So I'm going to scroll down further to where it says trend line. Quick linear trend line. That gives me a straight line. I may want to change that trend line to a red line so I can see it a little bit better. I may want to make it thicker so I can see a little bit better. That's up to you guys. As long as you can see it, it doesn't really matter. That's a personal preference thing. There's my line. Finally, the last thing you got to do here, guys, change the label from custom to use equation. When I change the label from custom to use equation, you can see that it lists my slope as 0.296. Y equals 0.296 x plus 0.242, my slope is 0.296. Click on insert. Your button insert should be visible. Mine's not for whatever reason. My graph is updated. Now all I'm going to do is click on that graph, click control C, go back to my, go back to my Google Classroom, click on the document that I created, and click control V, which pastes it. And there it is. Now my data is updated as well. Remember, I deleted all the data that was irrelevant. So watch. Let me just highlight that data now. Control C. Go back into my lab write up. Control V. There's my data. There's my analysis.